second time lucky. It's like the second time making this video. Anyway, at least you won't hear me talking about leaves in my pants. I just did. Anyway, um, this is the uh, my family view of Total Recall that I saw today. And I hope you like it. Hopefully I remember it because the last because I watched it this morning. And considering it's five o'clock now in the afternoon, I may not remember as much as I should. Uh, there is two plot summaries that I'm going to read. Of course, there is going to be spoilers in this. All my channel views have spoilers. If you haven't figured that out now, you obviously don't watch my channel or not. Oh, sorry. I swear my hair is itchy. I swear I must be rolling around in the grass or something. Anyway, okay, time to read one of the plot summaries because there is two. So let's choose one. Uh, for a factory worker named Douglas Quaid, even though he's got a beautiful wife who he loves, the mind trips them to the perfect vacation from his frustrating life. Real memories of life as a super spy might be just what he needs. But when the procedure gets horribly wrong, Quaid becomes a hunted man as he finds himself on the run from the police. Written by Sonya Pitchett. I should probably say that, you know. Um, sorry, okay. Let's see. The movie is pretty much how the plot summary is supposed to sound. But, it's more action packed. A lot of choreographed, well choreographed fights that you would actually believe they were fighting. Uh, a bit confusing, but also a uh, what the hell? If that was real life, you would be dead moments. And by that I mean they jump off the 31st floor and land on ground level without a scratch. <laughs> like what the hell? Seriously, wouldn't you get a scratch if you jumped off the 31st floor? And then you end up in a car crash and all you get is a, a cut off across your forehead. Dude, you ended up in like a six car pile up car accident and all you got was a cut and you can still run. Wouldn't you be in hospital? Wouldn't you be on the verge of dying? I don't know, I've never been in a car accident, so don't judge me. Oh, my pants are itching me. Um, okay, it's kind of a bit of a confusing movie. Mind you, I am blonde, so I am a bit slow at some things. <laughs> yeah, I'll go see. Um, okay, the movie is good. Uh, if you like seeing chicks fight, there's a few cut fights in here, but they're not the normal I hate you, pull my hair sort of thing. It's an actual fist fight between two girls, and that's cool. And you also see a bit of domestic violence, which is actually husband and wife punching each other out, trying to kill each other. That's throughout the whole film, so that's totally normal, right? <clears throat> um, the film is based after the 21st century. Um, I don't know what year exactly, I don't know which century exactly, but at the beginning it says it, um, something to do with the 21st century. This all happened after the 21st century. Uh, there is two countries that are still up and running. Which One is called The Colony, which if you look at a map it's actually Australia, because it's the shape of Australia. And then there's um, Great Britain. That's the other one. I've, it's got a proper name. They used a proper name, but I can't remember it now, unfortunately. That one is run by like this guy called Cohagen. He's supposed to be the huge goodie, but he turns out to be the baddie, which is like, woohoo, you bad person. You die now. Yeah, he dies, which is pretty cool. Because uh, even though he's confusingly dies, even though he gets stabbed across the stomach, he doesn't die. And then when he goes into fire, he's like, I'm dead now. It's like, really? So, uh, some things were unbelievable, like, wouldn't he die if he got into, like, seven things? And running in, like, heeled boots, didn't he, like, trip eventually? Yeah. Um, so it's pretty much this guy goes into this building called Recall, which is where your memories come true. Like, if you want a mistress, your dreams have a mistress. If you want to kill the queen, go ahead and kill the queen, because that's what your mind's saying you to do. It's just, whatever. Anyway, so Dennis Douglas Quaid goes into it and he's like, okay, I, I just want to see how this goes. And so they're like, okay, we want to find out if you have secrets. Um, everything's out on the table. There's no secrets and um, everything's fine. So they hook him up and next thing you know, a big secret and everything goes wrong. And he turns out to be a double spy. He also turns out to be a traitor, which I think that double spy means the same thing. I don't know. I'm not a spy. So don't ask me. Okay? Yeah. Um, some of the characters are talked up hugely, but they're only shown for 30 seconds. Which is like, really dude? Really? 
So I don't understand that part. Um, I would recommend you go see it in the movies. But seeing as it's probably only on its last week, last two weeks maybe, according to what I've learned, it's on its last week in Australia. Or where I live anyway. So I don't know. Um, so I guess you'll have to find it when it's on DVD. So that would be pretty cool. Anyway, let's go to cast list and I'll explain everything properly. Hopefully. Okay, um, the main character is played by Colin Farrell. Um, you know that dude from Fight Night, that vampire dude. Yeah, he's kind of sexy. Yeah. And anyway, he plays Douglas Quaid. Um, Douglas Quaid is the guy that doesn't remember anything. He's the guy that goes, This is my real life. I've married to a chick, been with this chick for seven years. I've done this, I've done that, and that's my life, full stop. And then there's Hauser, which is also played by Colin Farrell. And Hauser is the guy that's like, I'm a super spy, pew, 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 pew. So, yeah. Uh, next up is Kate Beckinsale. She plays Laurie, Laurie Quaid, which is Douglas's wife, obviously. And she's pretending to be a normal wife, pretty much. And then next minute she's like a super spy. She's like, pew pew pew, die husband, die. No, she's trying to kill her husband. It's a confusing why, because apparently he's like a big super dude and like whatever. Oh no. Uh, Jessica Biel plays Melina. Melina is again another spy. Uh, she helped Hauser be a spy, and now she's helping Douglas Craig trying to remember his memories. And in the end, they hook up. And I'm not sure what really they are, but anyway. Uh, and then there's Brian Cranston who plays Cohagen. Uh, Cohagen is like the Prime Minister, the President, whatever you want to call it, of Great Britain. So yeah. <laughs> uh, Bochum Woodbine plays Harry, which is Douglas Quaid's best friend, who's like, yeah, let's live a boring life and not give a damn about it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Bill Nye plays um, Mathis, and Mathis is talked up, Mathesis, yeah, Mathesis is talked up hugely throughout the first half of the film. Okay, he's just talk. He's saying, I want this to be, he's, they, they, they do nothing but talk about him, and then halfway through the film, they show Bill Nye, and they shoot him dead. He's only in that film for 30 seconds. They're like, what the hell? Okay, John Cho is McLean. McLean is the guy that runs Recall and it helps with the memories and all that. So, yeah. uh, Will Young Lee is Merrick, which is like the newbie at work and he's only in the film for 30 seconds. Uh, Milton Barnes is a resistance fighter, which is pretty much the police dude, I think. Um, James McEwen is Melty the Jaden, which is again a police dude. Uh, Michael Terrell is bank clerk, and so he knew what a bank, a bank clerk is. Uh, Stephen McDonald is Slacker. I don't know who Slacker is. Sorry. Who else is there? Um, recall receptionist, which is like the chick that says, Hi, how are you? What would you like? Um, she is Michelle Morgan. Uh, let's see if there's anyone else. Grow you bloody thing. Okay, well, pretty much everything you can find online on IMDb, which is where I get all my stuff from. So if you want to find out there. Oh, also before I forget, um, I'm trying to think. Before I forget, the trailer does not lie. There is a chick with three breasts. She's got one there, one there, and one there. I'm like, dude, I can't even handle two. How the hell can you handle three? And so when she introduces herself to Douglas Quaid, she's like, you looking for something? And it's kind of weird because she then says, you bet you wish you had three hands. Because he rejected her. So yeah. Hmm. Anyway, that was my weird movie review of Total Recall. Um, look for it on DVD because it should be coming out real soon. Or soon. Because it's last week in cinemas, maybe. Um, so get ready to go watch her because I think I love it and you should too and I'm going now because I've already wasted 10 minutes of your time. Goodbye! Oh.